Hey guys, I just stumbled on a little trick today that I wanted to share with you. I found a nice, clean and easy way to do chains, infinite chains in Inkscape, really, really quick. So, here goes. I start out using the rectangle tool, you see here? Draw my first link of the chain. I'm going to zoom in on it a little bit. Hit 3, zoom in straight on it. Now basically you want your basic rectangle shape and round off the corners until you got a satisfactory chain link to your liking. We're going to want to edit the properties of the stroke here. Give it a little bit more width to make it look like a sturdy link. Here we go. Okay, now that's pretty beefy. All right, so that's our first link. I'm going to copy and control alt v to paste it right on top. I'm holding control when I move the copy to keep it aligned vertically. So it's straight at the center here of my chain link. Now it's ready to rotate. I'm going to click on it one more because what I want to do is change the width. So I'm going to click on this little arrow on the top here, holding down shift, and just make it just a bit thinner so that it keeps the same stroke width which will give it this illusion of being like a link that's dangling you know juxtaposed perpendicular to us if you will I think you get what I'm trying to say here alright so I'm going to select these two links of the chain and turn them into path stroke to path and make sure I turn them into a union into one big shape so if I hit my edit paths node you can see that I have regular node shape now in Inkscape that I can edit so I'm going to take another square out of here and uh, make sure the edge of the square is aligned with the middle of the link so I can divide my original link here division hit control to align it and do the same thing I did initially but on the other side hold shift and control shift equal which is basically the same thing as doing path and union control plus control equal that's the same thing in Inkscape alright here we go so we have our chain shape right here I'm just making it smaller so we can have more of them and I'm going to create the path along with which I want to paste my chain alright here we go now I want to make sure that I copy the original chain shape and it has to be in one stroke element can't be more than one alright now that we got those principles down. Let's hit Control Shift 7 to bring up our Path Effects Editor. Go to Pattern Along Path and add Paste Path onto here. And initially it'll just paste one ugly copy of the thing we want. I want to have the pattern repeated right here. Here we go. Give it a little fill and we have our chain here we go it's as easy as that you can move it around it's lagging a little bit but you get the you get the idea you can do pretty much anything you want with it except zoom in on it because if you make the object bigger you'll notice that it just returns the original size of the of our initial clip path copy here so if we want to make a chain for the foreground let's say a whole lot bigger we're going to want to copy our initial pattern and make that bigger and give it another path here we can make one big chain in the foreground and uh, make sure this is copied add path from clip path and make sure it's repeated again fill it with black 
and we can go in and edit our stroke here. If I just want to, okay, enlarge it. Here we go. And we can zoom in on it. Even give it a little blur here. There we go. So that's how you draw chains in Inkscape, infinite chains, if you will. And uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching.